A Bemidji event will look to combat, combat the damaging multiple sclerosis disease. The often disabling condition hurts the central nervous system, often leaving victims with challenges in moving around. Jackson Bruner has more about Walk MS, what it can do to make a difference. It's a beautiful day. Ann Hayes has needed help to walk for the last seven years. She has a condition called multiple sclerosis. The signals that are sent from the central nervous system, the brain and the spinal cord, to the muscles in the, you know, in your legs, in all over your body, they're short-circuited in MS. Her type is a more intense version called primary progressive MS. Since a diagnosis in 2007, it's been eating away at her. I used to be a violinist. Um, and that was really tough. I haven't played since 2014. When those things are, are taken away from you, it's you go through those stages of grief, just like any kind of loss. Like others with MS, Hayes wants to see a cure. Anything that can make dealing with where she is easier. A Bemidji event called Walk MS returns on Saturday. The goal is to raise $30,000 toward making that difference. Research to find a cure to understand the illness better, uh, to develop new treatments, and that's being done internationally, and a lot of that international movements actually happens because of the work of the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. Hayes says she may someday be completely confined to a chair, but refuses to think that far ahead. Instead, she's all about living in the now. Today is a gift. And using events like Walk MS to help others. It's important to know that these people are, are, are not their disability. They are, um, they are so vital. And this is an opportunity to be able to let them know that we see that vitality. It's kind of a, a way to get uh, people out and together and gather and have fun and actually celebrate a little bit um, that there are people that are, are there for them in their corner trying to um, help end this thing be, you know, before it gets uh, any bigger. In Bemidji, Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. Montgomery says 50% of the money Walk MS raises will go directly back to the Bemidji region and it will directly help people who live with MS with everyday resources. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.